Hi, so we're going to look at calculating frequency and related frequency when you're given a two-way table. This is also called a contingency table um, and just getting frequency if you're giving a percentage. So, so in the following example, we have a birthday party that we went to and they're boys and girls and when it came time to get dessert, they could either take a piece of cake or a piece of pie or some ice cream. They couldn't take, let's say, a piece of cake and some ice cream. So, in this contingency table, the numbers inside are the frequencies. So for example, we had three boys that ate cake. We had two boys that ate ice cream, three girls that ate ice cream, etc. So what is the frequency of girls that ate cake? So frequency means the count. So if we look here and we look at cake and girls, we had nine girls that ate cake. Now, what is the proportion of girls that ate cake? Well, to figure that out, we need to know how many girls are our total. So if we had nine girls that ate cake, six that ate pie, and three that ate ice cream, that means we have 18 girls total. Now, what proportion means is it means percentage. So to find the percentage of girls that ate cake, we would have nine girls out of the 18 total that ate cake, which would give us 0.5 or we could say that that's 50%. Now, the next one, or the next question, is going to analyze how well we can read a contingency or two-way table. So, how many girls are there total? Well, if we had nine girls ate cake, six girls ate pie, and three ate ice cream, we'd have 18 total. How many boys are there total? Well, we had three boys that ate cake, five that ate pie, and two that ate ice cream, so we would have 10 total. Now, how many people ate cake? So if we look at just the cake column, we have 3 plus 9, so we had 12 people that ate cake. Doing the same thing for pie, we had 5 boys and 6 girls ate pie, so that would be 11 total. And for ice cream, we had 5. Now, if we add either this row or this column together, we're going to get the same number, which is that we had 28 individuals total. So notice if I had 12 plus 11 plus 5, I get 28, and 10 plus 18 is going to be 28 as well. If these rows and columns don't agree, that means that you had an arithmetic, arithmetic error somewhere. So what was the percentage of the sample that was boys? Well, to figure out the percentage, we're going to take the number of boys, divided by the amount of people we had. And we're going to take that whole fraction and multiply it by 100, and that's going to give us our percent. Let's just go ahead and round to the nearest um, decimal place. That would give us 37.5%. What percentage of the sample were cake eaters? So if we go back, we had 12 cake eaters. So to find the percentage, again, we're going to have 12 divided by 28, and then to get the percentage, we're going to multiply that by 100. That will give us 42.9%. Now, who is more likely to eat pie? So if we look at the above, we can see that when it came to buy pie, five boys ate pie and six girls ate pie. Now, if we were just looking at the frequency, it would look like more girls ate pie. But that's not correct because there are actually more girls at the party anyway. So what we need to do is we actually need to find the percentage. So if we look at the percentage of boys, eight pi, we would have five out of 10, which would give us 50%. If we look at the percentage of girls that eight pi, we would have 6 out of 18, which would give us about 33.3%. So even though there are more girls at the party, lower percentage of girls ate pie. So boys are more likely to eat pie. Another example you can think of is what if we only had 10 boys, we had 100 girls. Okay, so if five boys ate pie, that would be half the amount of boys. But for girls, we would have 33 of them that eat pie, but that's out of 100. So remember, we're not looking at frequencies, we're looking at percentages. The next question says, suppose that we're at a wedding that has 130 guests and we ask if they ate cake or pie. 
Suppose 70% of the guests say they ate pie. How many guests is this? Now, figuring out percentages can be kind of tough, so here's a little cheat that I like to do. So the ask percent divided by 100% total. Remember, you're never going to have more than 100% of people at a party. And that proportion is going to be equal to the number divided by the total. So in this example, we say that we had 70% of 100% equals, and they want to know how many guests this is. We already know that there's 130 guests total at the party, so we're going to have the number divided by 130. Now to solve this, we're going to multiply both sides by 130. So we're going to have 130 times, now the percentages cancel out, um, 70 divided by 100 is going to give us 0 0.7. So that is going to give us 91 guests. Now the second question says that at a different wedding, 40% of people stated they ate cake, and this was 86 guests. So how many guests were there? So let's use this trick up above. So percentage asked was 40%. Remember, that's always going to be out of 100%. Equals, so the number, and they want to know how many guests there were at the entire wedding. So in this case, we know that there's 86 people, and we actually want to find the total. So that's going to be 0 0.4 equals 86. Instead of writing total, let's write x. Now what we can do is that we can multiply both sides by x, and I'll give 0.4x equals 86, and divide both sides by 0.4. So we're going to have 86 divided by 0.4 equals 215 guess total. There's lots of different ways for solving for percentages or frequencies. Do whichever way makes you feel best. All right, the last example is suppose we interview roughly 1,250 students and found the relative frequencies of ethnicities as displayed below. Using the information below, roughly how many students identified as Hispanic rounded to the nearest whole person? So if we look at this graph, <clears throat> it doesn't tell us how many people identifies each one. It just gives us a percentage. So we have 17.1% that identify as Hispanic. Now at this school, there's 1,250 people total that we interviewed. So let's go ahead and use that neat trick that we learned before. So the percentage asked was 17.1%. But remember, it's always going to be out of 100% total. Now we don't know the number of people that identified as Hispanics, so we're going to call it x, divided by, but we do know the total number of people we interviewed, which was 1,250. Now solving for x, we are going to have 0 0.171 equals x divided by 1250. Multiply both sides by 1250, we are going to get that our x variable equals, we are going to get that equals 213.75. And since it asked us to round to the nearest whole person, we can just round that up and we can say that that's 250 people.